everybody, it's me, Wally. How are ya? So, uh, this is part of the uh, little deal we got going called uh, Our Hometowns. So, uh, here I am on the east side of Binghamton. Now, the east side of Binghamton, back when I first started growing up in the 60s and early 70s, was predominantly very Irish. And I'm sta standing right in the section of town right now that used to be on St. Patrick's Day, a place that you could very hardly get around. But right up here uh, on the east side, uh, right behind me, is uh, Pudgy's Pizza. And this used to be, can you guess it? Yeah, it was Carnsey's Irish Pub. And uh, of course we got the Eastside Tavern right here behind me as well. And across the street used to be a place called McCabe. It's now uh, the Dandy. It was Cowan Tavern. We're right up here on the east side of Binghamton. And there was a whole bunch of uh, Irish bars that were up and down the street here. The Lion's Den just down the street here a little ways. Around the corner we had uh, Frosian's Cafe. What else was down there? Our little corner. There's a bunch of places down here. So on St. Patrick's Day, when I used to come to work, because I used to work right at McCabe's place across the way here, um, you could barely get down the street. You'd have to slow down, because this was busy all day long, and the street was packed full of people uh, drinking and having fun and singing Irish songs. You know, like I said, our, uh, Carnsey's Irish Pub right behind me. McCabe's place right across the street. We'll take a quick run down through the east side of Binghamton. The Legion was always packed. There was another place down there, I think it was called uh, the First Round or something like that. But yeah, this was a busy place on March 17th for sure. Yep, that was the old McCabe's place right there. People were out on the porch hanging out, having a good time. East Side Tavern, that I don't think has changed that name in the front of that building ever, to be honest with you. And then, of course, right next door to that was the old Carsey's Irish Pub, which is now Pudgy's Pizza, where I'll be stopping after this video. And here we got the house at Reardon. Arguably, it's uh, Binghamton's oldest Irish tavern. I think it is right now. At least that's what uh, the owner here says. I'll tell you what, it's a great place. It's going to be packed here on St. Patrick's Day. So this is one of the places that's still around here. Of course, down around the corner, we just uh, dropped by Dundee's on the way by. That was the old, uh, uh, our little corner out here as well. But I'll tell you what, if you want to get some corned beef and cabbage, some ham and cabbage, this is the place to go. Part of the whole Irish heritage here on the east side of Binghamton. When the immigrants came to town, they used to get off the boat and they used to say, which way, EJ? And that meant, which way to the factories in Binghamton? And you had Irish contingents, and you had Italian contingents, and you had Eastern European contingents, and they all kind of grouped together in their own little sections of town. It just so happened that on the east side of Binghamton, this was predominantly the Irish section of town. And things have changed throughout the years. I don't know, so much has it. But uh, you know what? House of Reardon, that's still standing here. So and see what they got cold on the menu. <laughs> so, this is my buddy Rick here. So, say hello, Rick. Hey, don't Wally. Where are we standing? We're standing at the House of Reardon, oldest Irish bar in Broome County, buddy. <laughs> and you should know, you've been here since, what, almost Well, a I've ago. been here for 17 years now. So, what's going on on Tuesday? Well, Tuesday night, just the same, you know, same stuff that goes on every St. Patrick's Day, you know, dinners, bar opens up at 10, serving food at 11, our famous ham and cabbage, right at you, curbside service, you come right in here and pick it right up at the bar. Sit down, Irish music, pipers going all day long. Are you guys ever closed here? Uh, yes, but we don't want to be. But yes, a couple of days, day after parade day, definitely we're closed. <laughs> <laughs> but we are open up the day after St. Patrick's Day this year. All right. So House of Rear, Binghamton's East Side, Ely Street. Come on down. Come on, be here.